Hi, my name is Chinua, and this is the Weekly Devar for Shah Shof team. Before going to war, the Kohen Mishuach Melchama, the Kohen appointed for war, would speak to the nation and give them a list of people who do not have to fight. One group who are not required to fight are those who are afraid. The Mishnah in Mesechet Soda describes what the fear is that the Kohen is referring to. One view is that it is describing fear of sins that the person committed. This would mean that a soldier who sinned in certain ways would not participate in war. The Gemara then says something interesting that this would include a person who spoke between putting on his tefillin shel yad and tefillin shel rosh, the tefillin which goes on the arm and the tefillin which goes on the head. This may seem like an interesting choice of a sin which a person commits. Many suggest that this represents the need for consistency which we need between our hearts and minds. We need to do our best to align our emotions with what we rationally know to be correct and proper. There is another idea that the tefillin represents the idea of brokenness and confidence. The tefillin which goes on our arm represents our fears and insecurities which comes from our heart and failures. The tefillin which goes on the head represents our confidence and courage and is represented by being placed on top of the head. One puts on the tefillin shel rosh right after the tefillin shel yad because we have to regain our confidence after experiencing failure. It is important that we never allow our fear to overtake us and to stop us from growing. We can only grow when we take our failures and faults and learn from them to become the best version of ourselves, which we can be. Shabbat Shalom.